All the time. All the time. God, God is, is good. good. Uh, today, like I just mentioned, today is a really short, really short one today. Um, but today's more of an introduction to what we're going to be going through. Yeah, yeah today's more of an introduction of, what, of, of, the, of the study and what we'll be going through in the next nine nine studies. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry, no, nine, yes, uh, ten studies, ten studies. So the study that we're going to go through today, in the next few, is the components and contents of prayer, uh, by Dr. Arnold Frickenbaum. It's a study that, um, that's the way I give it to me to try and break down for you guys. A little bit of a struggle, a little bit of a struggle, because Having to having to break down a study, having to break down someone someone else's study. Mm -hmm. right, but today, so these will be the next nine components. So the components of prayer today will be, will be a short one on worship. Uh, after that will be adoration, and thanksgiving, confession, then submission. The commitment to future obedience, the intercession, so that's praying on someone else's behalf, mm -hmm. supplication, petition, and request. And there's no next nine months. Months or uh, also, there's also contents of prayer, so be the extent of, of the content, the element and outline of the content, and the organization of content, and the specifics. So this will be all covered in the next nine times that you guys will be, that I will be blessed to sit with you. <laughs> so today, we have the part one, which is worship. The question, what is worship? The worship, uh, the, the word worship comes from the old English word, worship. Ah. Which means describe, uh, describing in highest worth or whatever you value or love the most. Worship is a description of praise to God for what He is and His ways. Worship is saying to God that He's worth that. Oh, saying to God what He's worth, confessing to Him what He's worth to us. We must also point out that worship entails, entails a concept of submission. And so it includes the concept of falling down on knees, falling down on the sorry, falling down on the knees, and worshiping often go together because the element of submission. Sorry, yeah, uh, worship worshiping and worship falling down on the knees and worshiping often go together because the element of submission. But I will cover this when we go through the submission. Right? So tonight we'll go through some Bible references in regards to Bush. So I'll ask if we can turn our Bibles to Salam 138, verse 1 and 2. It's Psalms 138, verse 1 and 2. And I'll ask our Salmon Bible readers to go through it first. We'll read through. And then I'll ask, well, I'll ask individuals. So I'll ask somebody to go through to read through Psalms 138, responded to after our Psalm 1 Bible reading. So Psalms 138, verse 1 and 2. Psalms 38, verse 1 and 2. So Psalm 1 Bible readers. Here you are. Amen. 
Um, Psalms 138, verse 1 and 2. I will praise you with my whole heart. Before mm -hmm. the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship towards your holy temple mm -hmm. and praise your name for your loving for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Our next Bible reference will be John 4, verse 20 and 24. Yohanne 5, verse 2 and 5. I'll ask us some more Bible readers to go first, and then I'll ask Sister Nancy to read John 4, <laughs> verse 20 to 24. When the path of the Lusful, the Lusful path. Here. A world to fight my Jesus, our fathers worship on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one will to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for the salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now it is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. This is the conversation that Jesus had with the Samaritan woman. Mm -hmm. We'll go to our last Bible reference. Found in the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 3. Philippians, chapter 3, verse 3. Ah, so some more Bible readers to read first. And then I'll ask Sister Al to read Philippians 3, verse 3. Yeah. Wow, we are going to be in it at We are all in it at all. 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 We are all in We in Amen. Amen. So those are the three Bible reasons. That's the one we study. Ah, um, like I said, today's one was real short. But um, I think we all have a, I think we all have an understanding of the questions. So, yeah, that, that concludes tonight's short worship, short study, but um, maybe I'll come better prepared next time. So I'll, hand, I'll put a hand up back over to Fred to lead us to the song.